Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can find remainders or modulus on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the option key that looks like this, located here, the comma key that looks like this, located here, the bracket keys that look like this, located here, and the F1 through F6 keys that look like this, located across the top here. To find the remainder or modulus, we have to navigate to the modulus function. To do that, first we hit the option key so that we see this menu here. Then we hit the F6 to go to the next set of options until we see numeric under F4. So we hit F4 so that we see this set of options and then hit F6 to go to this menu here. Now we see F4 mod or modulus. So we hit that and we see mod on our screen. Let's find the remainder or modulus of 137 divided by 7. Now that we have mod on our screen, we can enter 137 inside the brackets and then hit the comma. And then the 7, close our brackets. So there we have the modulus of 137 divided by 7, and hit exe. And we see we get a remainder of 4, which is correct. Now, this doesn't give us the number of times 7 goes into 137, just the remainder. So if we want that, all we have to do is go 137 divided by 7, and see we get 7 goes into 137 19 times with a remainder of 4. Let's try another one. Let's see how many times 5 goes into 15. Again, we start with hitting the mod, or F4, and then the 15, comma, 5, close our bracket, and hit exe. And we see we get a remainder or modulus of 0, which is correct because we know 5 goes into 15 three times with no remainder. We can also find the remainder or modulus of exponential functions, like for example, 5 to the power of 3. To do that, we use the F5 function here, mod exp. So if we want to find the remainder of 5 to the power of 3 divided by 3, we hit mod exp, F5, so that we see that on our screen. And then we enter the 5, and then the comma, and then the exponent, which is 3, and then the comma again, and then the 3. Close our bracket and hit exe. And we see we get a remainder or modulus of 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.